Bad weather is creating a headwind for the economy. We learned today that sales of existing homes fell 5.1 percent in January. They were selling at the slowest pace in a year and a half. Of course, that's nothing compared to 2008 when the mortgage system collapsed. Today, we got a fascinating look inside the secret meetings from those days that pulled America back from the brink of a second Great Depression. The Federal Reserve released transcripts from its emergency meetings, and Anthony Mason has the story. In early January 2008, as the housing crisis deepened, Ben Bernanke called an emergency meeting of the Federal Reserve. The concern I have is not just a slowdown, the Fed chairman said, but the possibility that it might become a much nastier episode. Less than two weeks later, the Fed would slash interest rates by 75 basis points, the largest cut in more than two decades. I think we really have no choice but to get ahead of this, Bernanke argued. The transcripts of 14 meetings in 2008 show a Fed trying to keep up with a developing crisis it did not fully comprehend. By March 10th, Janet Yellen, then the head of the San Francisco Fed, warned that systemic risk is large and it's escalating very quickly. A dangerous dynamic has set in. That month, the Fed took the unprecedented step of offering funding to troubled banks. We're crossing certain lines, Bernanke noted. We're doing things we haven't done before. By summer, the Fed believed the worst was over and that the economy had skirted an outright recession. But in September, Lehman Brothers collapsed. At a meeting just before Halloween, Yellen announced, quote, a witch's brew of news. Sorry, she said to nervous laughter. It is becoming abundantly clear that we are in the midst of a serious global meltdown. Yellen said, given the seriousness of the situation, I believe that we should put as much stimulus into the system as soon as we can. By the end of 2008, the Fed had dropped its benchmark interest rate to near zero, and the economy, it turned out, had already been in recession since December of the previous year. Fascinating. Anthony, thanks very much.